Good morning, guys, and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a very wonderful weekend. It is Saturday, and it's half past 12. Um, I'm just going to do a little talk about something that I think is kind of relevant to my personal life. So, let's get into it. So, for a lot of you, you know that I'm suffering severe fucking mental health. It's to the point where it can actually cause me to end up in hospital or just random shit. Um, just bear in mind, this chain is coming off and so is this middle ring here. This one here. Yeah, it's coming off today. For a little while. Because there's a few issues that I need to deal with. So taking them off, I can deal with it better. Anyhow, <coughs> um, the next thing I want to talk about is... Trauma bond. Yeah, I sat here all night last night like, thinking about it. And do you know what? It is the fucking goddamn truth of what I went through. For what I went through in previous relationships. And that's probably why I refer to my own game map. Because they always get what I always give them and all that shit. But in reality, are you willing to put yourself down to make them happy? Are you willing to destroy everything just to please them? What do you want? This is something you want to remember is, do you want them to just make you miserable for the rest of life, or do you want to be happy as well? And sometimes, with trauma one, it comes in with detachment disorder. And detachment and attachment disorder are two similar different things. But I have a detachment and a detachment disorder. And it is being diagnosed, bearing in mind. Um, detachment disorder is where you didn't really, like DPD in a way, you didn't have a great connection with certain people growing up. You didn't have a certain childhood that made you feel secure. So you use that and you react to the trauma that's happened to you. A lot of people think with BPD that it's toxic, it's this and that. And actually, in reality, it's not. Because I know what could trigger it. And I've sat here the second time in a row and gone, this is not fair. The person that has destroyed me in the past has fucked me over and has that are known as shit to me, I've always allowed them back in. And I get told that I shouldn't because they're very bad for me, and I fucking wish I listened. But anyhow, there's a lot of factors in that, because you love that person. And when you love a person, you then become your own toxic type of person. So you change. You stop doing the things that make you feel good about yourself because you don't want them to leave. So in the end, you, you drop your whole room. Like for example, I dropped my routine, my skincare, my friends. You know, I never saw my friends. I always felt on the phone to new people. I always spent days talking to them. And yeah, as much as it made me feel good, I isolated myself from the people that actually gave a fucking shit about you. Um, so that's why I am how I am when it comes to talking to people, especially in my relationships, because I've been fucked over so many fucking times. So it's like I say, <coughs> there's a whole load of aspects to why you have a trauma bond, and unfortunately I have it for a number of fucking reasons, and I fucking hate it. Um, you know, people will jump the mess of your head. But anyway, um... I am now going to be putting a lot of things on my life on private, um, certain occasions, certain things, because as a lot of you know, I am very open about being polyamorous, and that is still going to be slightly open, but I just won't be mentioning if, in a big if I date anyone else, it will be a big if if I actually announce who they are, so yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go because I've got a lot of things to do today. And I just thought I'd do a little quick video just to see how you'll be doing. And yeah.
So I hope you have a wonderful weekend, and I will see you in my next one, which should be Tuesday. Have a good day. Mwah.